Hey, grade 11s, congrats. You finished the first day of our summer e-learning course. So far, I've received some great questions, uh, and I've also gotten to meet a few of you over instant messages and emails. Thanks so much for getting in touch. Uh, thanks also for your willingness to participate and share. And as a result of doing this, I now know some very important information about you. I know that Amelia likes birthday cake ice cream, while Taylor prefers mint chocolate chip, and Oscar likes to keep things simple with French vanilla. Uh, and many of you are, are in agreement with me that chocolate chip cookie dough is pretty much the only ice cream flavor that needs to exist. Uh, before we start talking about course content today, I just wanted to remind you uh, that when it comes to summer school, one day of summer school is equivalent to one week of school during the actual school year. So it's really important that you are logging in every day and actively participating. Missing two days of summer school is basically the equivalent of missing uh, two consecutive weeks of regular school, which would obviously be a lot of work to catch up on. You should also know that missing three days in a row of summer school could potentially be grounds for removal from the course. That's not a guarantee, but it is a possibility. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not allowing that to happen. Make sure that you are logging in every day, that you're staying up to date on assignments, so that you're familiar with what the expectations are so that you're not falling behind. And so we can make sure that you are in the best position possible to achieve this credit. Um, the other thing I wanted to draw attention to, you may have noticed that on the course calendar, which again is just on the right hand side of our screen down toward the bottom, uh, that our final exam in the course is scheduled for Monday, July 30th. So if you've not taken an e-learning course before, uh, the way that it works is this. If you are a Lambton Kent District School Board student, then you will be required to report to either Alexander McKenzie or Chatham Kent Secondary School on July 30th to write your final exam in person. Um, so specific times will be established toward the end of the month regarding when you are to arrive to write your exam. Students from outside the Lambton Kent District School Board will also have to write their exams on July 30th, but further instructions will be given toward the end of the course regarding uh, when you have to do that. So you're welcome to send me uh, instant messages or emails if you need clarification on those instructions. But basically, LKDSB students, you're coming to one of the two schools, either in the north or south, to write on July 30th. Out of board students still writing on the 30th, but we'll give you further instructions about what that's going to look like. Uh, in terms of our course uh, in the last couple of days, uh, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you filled out, uh, or sorry, that you fulfilled yesterday's lesson. Um, to do that, you needed to complete the student orientation. Uh, you needed to write and submit the point evidence analysis paragraph, and you needed to record and submit your video reflection based on questions about identity. If you need any help completing or submitting these tasks in order to get caught up, if you know what to do, just send me an instant message or an email. As I mentioned yesterday, you can message me anytime that you need help. However, my specific office hours are each day, Monday to Friday from 8.30 a.m. till noon. If you log in during that time, that's when I can guarantee I will also be online and I can return your messages pretty much immediately. For today, lesson number two is going to require you to watch several videos that are going to introduce you to the concepts of stereotypes and privilege, which are going to be common motifs that you will see coming up over and over again throughout our course. Uh, once you've watched these videos, you're going to be asked to read or watch a version of a poem by a famous Indigenous author named Thomas King, and you're going to submit your answer to five reflection questions based on this poem. Uh, for today's attendance question, again, a daily question has nothing to do with English, but just allows me to get to know you a bit better and shows me who is logging in and paying attention to the announcements each day. I'm going to use today as your opportunity to vent, so please use the Padlet below to record your pet peeve, what is really grinding your gears or something that just bugs the bejesus out of you. Again, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Send me an instant message or an email. Have a great day, guys, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.